So in this study, we were interested in looking at how the brain stores knowledge about objects. So uh, one possibility is that the brain regions that are active when you perceive or interact with an object are the same ones that store its meaning. Uh, so for example, for a lemon, uh, its representation would be distributed across all the brain regions that are active when you feel its skin, when you taste it, sourness, uh, when you see its yellowness, for example. And so what this means is that for objects that share any of the features of a lemon, um, their representations would overlap with that of a lemon on the features that they share. So for example, the same parts of the visual system that perceive the yellowness of the lemon would also perceive the yellowness of a canary. And that would store the knowledge of, that canaries are yellow. And so this, this makes kind of a counterintuitive or surprising prediction, which is that when you think about lemons, you're also thinking just a little bit about canaries. Uh, so that's what we tested. And we found that um, you are faster to understand the word lemon if you've just read the word canary than if you've just read something unrelated. And um, the interesting thing, though, the twist to the story, is that we found that this is only true for people who have recently been thinking about color. Uh, so if you had previously been doing a task that made you pay attention to color, uh, then thinking about canaries primed or activated lemons um, in, a, in a subsequent task. Um, but otherwise, it didn't. Um, so what this means kind of more broadly for the real world is that what it means for something to be a lemon changes depending on what you've recently been doing. So if you've been you know, outside playing ball, then you might be focusing on its shape. Or if you've been you know, making a sauce for dinner, then you would focus on its taste. Or if you've been you know, deciding what color to paint your living room, and then its color is more important. So in a context like that, you know, your brain basically makes a lemon more like a canary.